We just got back from our day trek to La Conner. We loved it. Well, I just got invited to go paint with Mark. I'm gonna mix up some clean color and I'm gonna clean my palette a little bit. I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who would face with mounting health challenges decided, you know what? Life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and experiences. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. We have discovered the most charming little village on the water, La Conner. So we're going to go check that out today. Streets are tight in La Conner. With this big dually, I'm glad that they have a a paid day parking area. Super nice. Just follow the signs if you're here. And there's a nice big parking area. Helpful for us big rigs. Let's go exploring. This town looks so cute. And it's right on the water. And I'm hungry. At least we won't get sunburned from here down. Trying to look on the bright side, you know. This is the boardwalk. Is that the kind of boat you want? No, it's too small. No, that looks like a lot of work. The town here, it looks like they've done a great job with preserving their history. And so by street, they've got good historic pictures of the town. And then they've alphabetized who lived in each house back in 1880. That's pretty, pretty neat. Awesome. So is that the kind of boat you want? That's a pretty good setup there. I think it's too big. But they've got their little uh, patio area and everything set up. They're definitely living on board this one. Got a little bit of artificial grass for Gracie. Yeah. Let's go see if they're for sale. Too big. Looks like too much maintenance. Remember we got a big RV and how much you love having a big RV. I just gonna get a little more paint on there. On the canvas. I, I have actually really enjoyed the brush stroke, you know. But I do use the palette knife for like all the details, mm -hmm. this stuff. And you've been painting how long? I've been painting, I learned to paint in high school and I kind of painted off and on cowboy for 25 years, but I painted there. Well, I just got invited to go paint with Mark and I think it might be a sign because uh, that doesn't happen every day. No, so. he's like the real deal. Yeah, yeah, maybe some of that'll rub off on me. That'd be cool. I think you should do it. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. a stranger and a traveler who both welcome me. Most towns don't do this, but you know, so besides being charming and having the waterfront with all the restaurants lined out along the, the waterway, you just got all this history that you can learn about 
while you're here. This is an artist town. We, we dig this. I switch off and I start to drive streets that no longer are my own. I keep driving your way home. This is where you could put your art gallery. Yep, right there. Clam strips and coleslaw for me. And then Scott's had a, having a Reuben and fries. And what happened to your keto diet? Um, I haven't eaten at all today, so I think I'll be okay with my calorie walking deficit, but yeah, the keto just went out the window for today. Is the door unlocked? Are you supposed to be doing that? I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Built in 1869. Isn't this a cute little log cabin? Do you think that we could just get this for a tiny house? You're right about the history. They got all this historical facts and they've brought, like that little log cabin was brought down from the Skagit River. We didn't even make it through the whole town. We'll be back, LaConnor. We'll be back. It's got the possibilities. I think it has some good possibilities. Now I do this, and I've had artists start screaming out even when I do this. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm cleaning my palette, man. You don't need to clean your palette, no. What a beautiful, relaxing morning out in the valley by La Conner. And uh, out here watching Mark, who appears to be a master at his craft, <laughs> watching him piece together this this barn scene and you know tractors are going by and blowing dirt at us and, and it's just an amazing process to to watch it's a good good day What are you doing over here, artist? I'm trying to put the somewhat finishing touches on this. This was a scene in the Skagit Valley, uh, one of the farms right next to the farm that Mark was painting the other day. And so I snapped a picture of it and I'm using it as a practice piece. Looks good. Yeah, he's, he's much more proficient at this than I am. You got a nice little camp ground painting spot. Can you tell us about the um, light, cardboard light fixture you've got up here? Oh, that? Yeah, what's going on? Well, the, I've got a patent pending on that. <laughs> on the cardboard light fixture? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mass produce these things. I'm gonna make cans for the RV ceiling light fixtures. Oh, that one's directional. This one's directional. So that tape is it really splashes, it splashes the light upon the wall. See how it... Yeah, that's really... If you beautiful. stand back a little bit, you can see how it shields your eye from yeah. the... Yeah. Uh... That looks really nice, babe. <laughs> <laughs> It is a good idea though, it's just maybe not cardboard. That's a million dollar idea. I know. Anyway, I was kind of rambling along great talking to the camera and uh, and then I see that there's somebody standing about 15 feet away <laughs> next to our campsite picking up dot poop. From our day in La Conner, we actually didn't even get to see all the shops or really. You better start over because I was back here going like this. 